Hi everyone, this is Bill with Tidal Town Drones and today I'm pleased to announce the release of a tactical light kit for the DJI Avada 2 drone. So this is a very simple design. It mounts quickly to your drone and the lights provide both forward and downward looking light so that you can see what's ahead of you and also the downward looking lights provide the sensors, the information, the stability that you need for operating in an indoor environment. So real easy to strap on. These are available through my website at TidalTownDrones.com. Last year I had released a version for the Avada 1. This is a very, very popular design and I sold hundreds of these things uh, just because they're so reliable and easy to put on. I've come up with a design that is built around the Fox Fury D3060 drone light. These are a proven technology. They've been in use for years and they're just reliable. Uh, one of the things that make these lights particularly uh, a good fit for this purpose is that they have a forward looking and a downward looking and it's a single light unit that has two lights in it and a built in power source that's rechargeable. So the D3060 was just a natural fit uh, for this project. As you can see, the original Avada 1 light kits uh, consisted of two individual uh, mounting brackets that mounted on there. As well liked and successful as that was, uh, people were moving on to this drone because it's newer technology. So in this case, I reached out to a good friend of mine, Mike Schomer. So Mike is a brilliant guy and together we worked on a design and this is what we came up with. So being retired law enforcement, one thing I have learned over the years is that when you're in these high stress situations, the simpler and the easier to operate, the better. So this could not be simpler. It's just one straight piece with two mounting brackets on here for the lights and then one Velcro strap and then a couple of supports in the center that fit right around the drone. The drone itself just has uh, two little ports on the bottom that you can just uh, push that Velcro through. So, so all you have to do to install this is tip the drone on its back and pull that strap tight and just attach the Velcro strip and you're all set to go. So really a nice, simple, easy way to get this working. These light mounts are manufactured right here in the Nerd Center. They are made of a tough, durable nylon carbon fiber composite. And they are darn near indestructible. I do offer a one-year replacement on the mounting system. One of the other features about the D3060 lights that just make it a natural fit is that they have these large rubberized buttons that are super simple for you to find. You do not have to look at the light to find the power switch and, and turn it on. You can just reach over and press the button and, and turn them on and off. That's a huge advantage over some of the other modules I've seen out there that attach underneath. They're small LEDs, they have a tiny little button on them, and oftentimes to turn them on or off, you actually have to look at the light to get your fingernail in the, in the right place. And then in a dark situation, or if you're in a tactical situation, your eyes get hit with that little flash of light. And that is not a good thing when your eyes have adjusted. You know, for low light, you're in a tactical situation. You don't want to get flashed with light. So these are uh, super simple to turn on and off. While you'll see in my tests that is incredibly stable, I'm able to move very precisely through small openings and the drone is lock steady and I'm able to move around and get through doorways. I can set down, go over environments that have uh, very unpredictable surfaces, over furniture and other obstacles that you might encounter, you know, in a residence or somewhere. Um, because that's one thing that we know in public safety is that no scene that you go into is ever clean <laughs> and predictable uh, what it's going to look like. So one of the things that you'll notice in this first version, which was very popular, the uh, width of the drone uh, with the lights on it was about 10 and a quarter inches. Uh, and I really didn't get too many complaints about the size of it, but um, if that was a concern. Uh, the good news is, is that this is only nine and a quarter inches in width. So it's actually, even though the airframe itself is a larger airframe than the Avada 1, the way that these lights are situated on here is actually smaller by one inch. So uh, it's a really tight form factor. And if the drone flips over during operation, the lighting system won't interfere with the turtle mode.
The Avada 2 is such a good fit for tactical operations for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that it's reliable. The camera uh, has good low light capabilities and it allows you to get eyes on to get that situational awareness that you're after. Um, but these things aren't terribly expensive. So if a bad guy smashes it or you somehow lose it on a scene, um, you can replace it at a relatively reasonable price. My customers will purchase the, the Care Refresh package, which allows you to send the drone in and get a replacement for it uh, for a very low copay. These lights uh, do not add a lot of weight. The original lighting kit that I came up with that was so popular uh, weighed 92 grams, I believe, and this is 96 grams. So it's only four grams different uh, than the first version, so it's not adding a lot of weight. And because they are so easy to take on and off, you could actually have a couple of sets. But the power source in these lights, this will actually last longer. Uh, up to three times longer than some of the competition that's out there. And again, only two light modules. So very simple for you to charge, only two points for charging, or some of the other designs that we've seen actually have four independent modules. So you've got four little charging cables that you've got to set up. And when you go to power it on, you've got to turn on four devices where this, you can reach over and you can touch each one. And you've really only got two two devices with just two buttons on there. So uh, really simple for you to set up. If, if you're interested in a tactical bundle, I've got those two. Being retired law enforcement, you know, I kind of know what an agency or individuals need to perform these functions. So I build these kits to have all the equipment, everything ready to go package. You won't have to buy anything else. And then you have this tactical kit that you can just activate and, you know, go onto a scene and deploy it. So one of the things I've done to make your life a little bit easier is I put together these bundle deals. So in this case, uh, we have the tactical bundle for the Avada 2. So you would get the Avada 2 drone, the tactical light kit, um, the goggles 3, the motion controller 3, which by the way is my favorite way to fly the drone. I think it has a lot of capabilities now with the joystick and the other controls. And then we also have the charging bank, which includes three batteries. Then you can add additional batteries as you see fit. There is a slot in this case available for the FPV remote controller three. So some people prefer this style of remote controller. So you have the slot for that. You'll notice that the case here has multiple slots for extra batteries. And this is the really, a really nice watertight solid case from Start RC. So this is my favorite case for this right now. Uh, there is compartment underneath the drone for either more batteries or cables, accessories, whatever you want to put in there. You'll notice that I was able to put the drone away with the light kit attached. This will definitely fit in there just like that. So you don't even have to attach the lights when you go to deploy it. It's all set up and ready to go. Also included in the typical bundle would be extra memory cards, spare propellers, and then a 100 watt USB-C charger, which has multiple ports, uh, making it possible for you to charge your remote control, your goggles, and the drone batteries all at the same time. You also uh, have the option of getting the Motion Controller 3. These things save lives. I've uh, worked with a lot of police agencies. They've been sending these in on SWAT calls. They're getting into very dangerous environments and these are scenes that normally you, know, you would have to physically go in and expose yourself to these dangers. So rather put a, an expensive piece of equipment in that situation instead of a person, right? Uh, and that's what these are for. Anyway, uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. This is uh, a passion of mine, being retired law enforcement. I always want to provide services and tools to help my beloved profession and uh, help keep you know keep you guys safe out there so if there's other products or there's other design ideas you think that maybe we could come up with that would help you out please let me know uh, always excited to hear about your experiences and if you thought that this was a good design or are there any improvements that you would like to see because you know this thing isn't set in stone if i get suggestions back from people and they say you know can you tweak it can you design something a little bit differently Happy to look into that. 
So thanks for watching this video about the tactical light kit for the DJI Avada 2. This is Bill with Tidal Town Drones. Fly safe and return home.